What's up, guys? Welcome back to Real Bucks Talk. Training camp is here. We are damn excited to talk some Buccaneer football. And on this video, we're going to talk about the backup quarterback position, quarterback Kyle Trask out of Florida. Uh, so what do they have to say over at Pewter Report? They say Trask looks better than he did a year ago. He's more decisive and quicker with his setup and release. This is a big preseason for him for the 2023 and beyond. He'll need to win the backup job this year to to make this organization have confidence in him as a potential starter. Trask is making strides, strides, but the preseason games will be huge. And that, that is going to be huge. Uh, this is a guy that has sat the bench before. Everyone should know the history of him. Has sat the bench, learned. When he got his opportunity, he was ready to rock and roll, and he only got better and better as he got more playing time. And this is college football, I know, but the same thing happened in high school. Same thing happened in college. Is the same thing going to happen in the pros? I mean, you can see here at Florida, didn't really start, didn't do diddly poo. When he actually got his opportunity to start, put up pretty good numbers in the SEC, and then his junior year just lights the shit up, and or senior year gets almost the Heisman Trophy, almost seventy percent completion percentage, forty two hundred yards, forty three touchdowns, two eight interceptions. So let's break it down. His preseason, his old Kyle Trask, his numbers. The first game ugly, second game. And then third game, actually with production and, a, again, Texans team. Hopefully with the more repetitions he gets, the better he will get. And he is a little bit of a statue, two sacks there every time. But plus, Kyle Trask, is he going to make that jump year two? I mean, you see it in the history of him, but what's he going to look like in a Buccaneer uniform? Well, so far so good, right? And, you know, he's making that progression. He's getting better with his mechanics, better with his release. Um, just becoming faster because he knows the playbook. So I think just knowing what he has to do and obviously knowing where his receivers are going to be, you know, developing that chemistry and also, you know, just continuity and having command of the offense, that's going to be big for him. So it seems like he's definitely taking steps. He's just got to continue to progress. And I think you said it best, you know, the reps, you know, getting more reps is just going to continue to make him better. And I think that's what we've seen so far. So you know, you got to like it. You have to, you know, hopefully he does take that number two job and makes that jump over Blaine. And, you know, like Jason Light said, he's going to play a lot. And that is, you know, that's music to our ears because you want to see him play. You want to see uh, if he can be that guy because we don't know life after Brady yet. And yeah. you hope he can be that answer. Yeah, I mean, look, just looking over at Blaine Gabbert. Gabbert has been Gabbert. Makes a few spectacular throws and then makes a few wishes he could have back. I mean, that's what we've seen when he's actually had playing time. Very inconsistent with his accuracy, but the coaching staff loves him. They think he's a great backup quarterback, a guy that is on the cusp, so to speak. I mean, you hear nothing but good things from him, from the coaches, but from production standpoint on the field, I haven't really seen it. That's why I'm more on the fan side of Kyle Trask to show us what the heck we're going to have in the future, hopefully. Uh, yeah, he's not going to be a scrambling quarterback, obviously by those two sacks in every game the preseason, but it looks like he worked on his body a lot more in the offseason. Looks slimmer. Looks like his his release is a lot faster. I mean, I've seen little snippets of him in practice, and it looks a lot quicker. Looks, It's not like a big windup. Um, I'm anxious to go see him next Sunday. Actually, if you guys are at the training camp practice, let us know. Next Sunday, we will be there live in action. Uh, but either way, I mean, this is a spicy competition for the backup quarterback job. We all know who has number one. It's just, what is our future going to look like? Is it a Kyle Trask leg team or is it, we got to go looking again next year because this guy's arm isn't there or he just can't deliver like he did in college. The game speeds too much. I mean, these are big question marks. I know there's a great team right now, but again, this is as a GM would look at it. We got to look at longevity. We're not just looking for a win now. It's winning from now, next year, and the years after that. Right. No, I couldn't agree more. And yeah, you got to continue to have su sustained uh, success, right? Um, and they believe in Kyle Trask, and obviously he's taking those steps to better himself. So I, I think that's a huge, uh, you know, factor looking at it. You just got to see that continuation of progression and, and maturation in the offense. And I just hope that he gets a you know real opportunity with. Uh, either the number twos or potentially just some number ones as well, you know, during this preseason. And, you know, I can't wait to to watch him. And, yeah, it's going to be real exciting to see if he can make that jump uh, here in year two. Uh, but with that said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this content. Uh, be sure to hit that like button, 
uh, help support the channel. Comment down below what you guys think of Kyle Trask in year two. Is he going to take that step forward? And with that said, until the next one.